Right, it's day four of Spinal Awareness Week. Your fourth pillar to optimum health is sleep. The big tip today is to look at sleep in the uh, context of the quality and quantity of sleep in relation to survival or thrive. What I mean by that is, are we having enough sleep just to survive? Um, so that we can survive the day, we can get through, it's about survival, but if I nip off a couple of hours, I can get a little bit more work done. Uh, Or are we looking at sleep from Thrive? So the question for you is, how much sleep do you really need to thrive, to be at your best, and not only that you can get away with, but day in, day out, are you getting that eight, nine uh, hours of good quality sleep so that you build up a reserve bank, so that you're coping and you're recharging and resetting um, sleep. There's generally two poor sleepers, ones who don't get to sleep, um, they're not preparing for sleep, and those who are not getting the right amount of sleep, so they're waking up early. That's usually that there's things on the mind, they get enough sleep to survive, but they're not getting enough uh, sleep to thrive. Uh, Look in the... uh, in the um, write-up or the comments below, I'll share a couple of links to our Unplugged, Unplugged Health series uh, with my good friend Ollie, where we, in our podcast, our weekly podcast, we go through the concepts of sleep. So if that's of interest to you, have a look. There's, uh, I think, part one and part two, where we run through a couple of the concepts of sleep. But tip number one, let's get some good quality sleep, the right amount of sleep. Let's look at sleep to thrive as opposed to survive. Right, have a good day. I'll catch you uh, tomorrow for the fifth and final pillar of health for Spinal Awareness Week.